Hey, this is Ming Tsai from Simply Ming. I want to show you how you prep garlic. That's right, garlic. It's an ingredient I use in almost every one of my savory dishes, but you can get them now in a whole bunch of different forms. There is some great garlic oil you can buy out there. That's the easiest. Put it in the pan, do your stir fry, done. Fresh garlic, of course, is absolutely the best. What I don't like to buy is actually garlic that's already minced in jars because you lose that great fresh flavor. So you got to use fresh garlic. Nowadays, I think it's genius. You can buy cloves of garlic already peeled. The peeling takes some time. It's not a big deal. But when you do buy cloves that are peeled, just make sure that little end, that you have to take off, all right? Because that you don't want um, to eat. It's just a little bit tough. It's just the end of the root. And now, if you're going to use a whole clove of garlic, by the way, this is by far the best way to save money. To prep that, you actually just take your fist, right, and you, tote, you can put it on side and you smash it, all right? So then these cloves come off, all right? So let's just take the equivalent of four cloves. Now, a good secret here is then you take a knife and you actually smash it, all right? When you smash it, you'll see that this clove will come out much more easily. Check this out. So now it's smashed. I can kind of shake it and the clove comes out. See that? So because what you don't want is of course the the skin. So you shake that out and the clove comes pretty much straight off, right? And sometimes you, you still of course have the root. So once you take off all the skin, and by the way it's not bad for you, it just doesn't taste very good. Then of course still that same little root you still got to take off, all right? Uh, the problem when you smash it like that, if I was looking, and by the way, if there's a little brown part of the garlic, don't despair, just cut that off. Uh, the problem with smashing, of course, is when you do smash it, you, th you then can't get beautiful slices of garlic. So that's where peeled garlic is actually uh, a little bit better. So, different ways of using garlic. If I had beautiful cloves peeled, just thin slices, I think is a fantastic way. Like our signature dish at Blue Ginger, we do a garlic black pepper lobster. You can obviously just take your time with this. I like to take the big end and keep the small end towards me because the big end is more garlic. And when you get towards the end, it's a little bit easier to get that small. So let me show you that again. Right, so start with the big end. When you get to the smaller, it kind of naturally, because of the shape of the garlic goes down, it's easier to run your hand. All right, so that's sliced garlic. You can then, to mince garlic, you would take a couple of these smashed cloves and smash them like that. And then go through it this way, right? And then go through it this way. And then you gotta take the garlic off the knife and then go back again. And this is what I would classically use for stir fries. If you're doing a pesto or anything like that in a food processor, you don't need to do anything. All you have to do is peel the garlic. So now this is a great way to have just minced garlic. And a third way that take it, if you have cloves of garlic, people will take it, smash it, and they make a paste, and they actually take a pinch of salt, all right? And you can take a pinch of salt. They do this, they do this in China, they do this in Italy. So this is why you have to make sure there's no skin. See, there's a little piece of skin there. Take that off, all right? And you can smash this garlic. And this gets all the oils out. And of course, you end up with salty garlic, but it's a great kind of a garlic paste and this, I would rub like on a big piece of meat or a tenderloin, but nice and smashed. And this is, so you're creaming it with the salt to create an abrasion, and you can go all day long until it's actually completely pureed. So the key though, is buy fresh garlic, either already peeled or on the whole, on the whole head. It's the way to add great flavor to any dish. As always, peace and good eating. Simply Ming is brought to you by Watch Simply Ming on your public television station.